Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. Master Books, Dr. Jerry Bergman. A book on Darwin's effect on culture. Now, before we just really take a deep dive into this particular book, I've really just started uh, getting into Bergman because of Acts and Facts magazine. This is the Darwin effect, its influence on Nazism, eugenics, racism, communism, capitalism, and sexism. I just want to read to you a little bit about who uh, Jerry Bergman is. Okay, so this is a biography of Jerry Bergman. Jerry Bergman has taught biology, genetics, chemistry, biochemistry, anthropology, geology, and microbiology at Northwest State College in Archibald, Ohio for over 25 years. He has nine degrees, including seven graduate degrees or postgraduate in some non-U.S. system degrees. Dr. Bergman is a graduate of the Medical College of Ohio, Wayne State University in Detroit, the University of Toledo, and Bowling Green State University. He has over 800 publications in 12 languages and 20 books in monographs. He's also taught at the Medical College of Ohio, where he was a research associate in the Department of Experimental Pathology. He's also taught six years at the University of Toledo, seven years at Bowling Green State University. Um, let's see, among his books is a monograph on peer evaluation published by the College Student Journal Pass, Press. <coughs> uh, all kinds of, a book on vesicle origins, Vesicle organs are fully uh, functional. A book on psychology and religious cults. A book on religious discrimination published by Onesimus Pat Press. And a book on mental health published by Claudius Verlog in Munchen. Um, he's also published a college textbook on evaluation, Boston, Houghton, and Mifflin, and has contributed to dozens of other textbooks. He's also a consultant for over 20 science textbooks, mostly in biology and biochemistry. Let me just keep reading just a little bit more. Um, Dr. Bergman has presented over 100 scientific papers at professional and community meetings in the United States, Canada, and Europe. To discuss his research, he's been a featured speaker on many college campuses throughout the United States and Europe, frequent guest on radio and television programs. His research has made the front page in newspapers throughout the country, has been featured by the Paul Harvey Show several times, been discussed by David Brinkley, Chuck Colson, and other national television uh, people. He has also served as a consultant for CBS News, ABC News, Reader's Digest, Amnesty International, several government agencies, and for two Nobel Prize winners, including for the inventor of the transistor. Um, so there you have it. I mean, just enormous amounts of, uh, you got a PhD in measurement and evaluation, minor in psychology, PhD in human biology, uh, and so in tons of master's degrees, it looks like. Uh, he's in Mensa, he's in Who's Who in America, um, and just so many professorships and stuff. So this is who we're talking about when we talk about Bergman, okay? Dr. Jerry Bergman. Um, so, you know, he's not to be dismissed and taken lightly. And so even the people who are recommending this book, Wayne Fryer, PhD, Professor Emeritus of Biology at the King's College in New York, um, Emerson Thomas McMillan, PhD, Department of History, Georgia Southern University, Stephen E. Woodworth, PhD, Associate Professor of History, Texas Christian University, Professor David J. Oprah-Priller, Computer Science Department, Arizona Christian University. And then he gives uh, acknowledgments. I want to thank Emerson Thomas McMullen, Ph.D., Stephen E. Woodworth, Ph.D., Wayne Fryer, Ph.D., Dr. David Herbert, D uh, Professor David, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a cold, David O'Priller, uh, Bryce Gaudian, Burt Thompson, Ph.D., Clifford Lillo, M.A., uh, Bolton David Heiser, Ph.D., John Woodmarap, and Ian Taylor. Ian Taylor's got fantastic books out as well. So let's look at what is in this book. This was written in 2014. And as you're looking at that, I'll talk about some things. Um, Dr. Miklos Nielzili, an imprisoned doctor in the Auschwitz camp, wrote that Nazi doctors hoped studying twins would solve the problem of faster reproduction of superior races. Nazis hoped to have each German mother bear as many twins as possible. 
what Darwin influenced went far beyond the Nazi death camps. So shocking political, social, and scientific legacies of Darwin and the family, disturbing disclosure of how over 45 million Christians were killed in the 20th century because of their faith. Um, this book is the result of over 30 years of research and study carefully documenting the common destructive threads that tie some of history's most murderous dictators and caring capitalists and aggressive social activists to the flawed concepts of Charles Darwin in an effort to change the world. So how Darwinism inspired the Chinese Communist Holocaust, Darwinian Criminality Theory, a tragic chapter in history, Darwinianism, Darwinism and 20th century totalitarian holocaust, uh, the Darwinian Foundation, See, Darwinian is a word. Darwinian foundation in the communist holocaust, Darwinism's critical influence on ruthless uh, capitalism, the robber bears, Darwinists taught human females are inferior to males, Darwinism and the exploitation of deformed humans, Oda Binga, the pygmy displayed in a zoo, exploiting non-Westerners for evolutionary evidence, Darwinism's important influence on the Ku Klux Klan, the eugenics movement comes to America, Darwinism and the Tasmanian Genocide, H.G. Wells, Darwin's Disciple and Eugenicist Extraordinaire, uh, Racism Expounded by Leading Darwinists for Over a Century, Darwin's Cousin Sir Francis Galton and the Eugenics Movement, The Origins of Biological Racism. So there you have it. So this book, Darwin's Religious Views, got another book like that. This book looks to be 358 pages. He's also written a book called The Dark Side of Charles Darwin. I think I've got that book as well. Um, so this is just an amazing book. What can I say about this? And let's look at the subtitle of Darwin's uh, book, The Origin of the Species. The subtitle of Origin of the Species is The Preservation of Favored Races and the Struggle for Life. So it kind of tells you, I mean, it's, it's coming with a bad seed. So um, it's not producing advancements in science and the human condition it is destroying and so get back to the scripture that's what gave us the american experience the magna carta back in the uk and the blessings of liberty in the world so great book what can i say i'd highly recommend it you may be a committed evolutionist dare you to read it you're like, i don't have to read it because it's settled science that means you're scared and we know you're scared and you can't think uh, in those realms. I'll read evolution as books. Why couldn't you give the same courtesy? So God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus name.